Welcome everyone. Uh, this is a very uh, insp uh, a segment coming up that touches my heart. Um, Rocco mentioned to me, and it's something we've devoted a lot of time to. Uh, three topics on this show we've devoted a lot of time and attention to. Um, raising awareness, and that is preventing bullying, preventing suicide, and raising awareness on the, the drug crisis, the opioid yes. crisis, dealing with anxiety and depression. We read about a story in Long Island that went viral. Yes. And Rock, I want to talk to you about it. It was about a 13-year-old boy in Garden City, um, had a horrible uh, experience. And uh, Rock, I want you uh, further tell the story about how yes. this video went viral and touched so many people here in Long Island. Well, what happened was is that this this young boy was on the soccer team. And uh, he was bullied a lot from the get-go from uh, the people on his team. They felt that he didn't, he didn't deserve to be there. They said he was fat. So, and that made him very, very insecure and it made him feel very unwelcome on the team and in school in general. So um, he got bullied quite a bit. And I think what really was the, the, the saddest aspect of this is that he started losing weight by starving himself. He uh, ended up becoming uh, anorexic and in the hospital for an eating disorder. And this was just, it, it just kind of, you know, really speaks to just how cruel people can be, especially, you know, at this age. And, you know, and what happened was is that the mother was very, very frustrated with the school because, you know, there wasn't, she, there wasn't enough that was being done. There was not enough really that, that was sticking to the story. So she decided to post it on Facebook and it went viral all over uh, Long Island. And, and I just saw people, people I knew in, in Long Beach like post the story on their Facebook. And it just really gave you a sense of the fact that this, our entire Long Island community is like really rallying around this kid. And it's really heartening to see that everybody cares so much. And what were some of the things that the other kids were saying to him that was so cruel? Well, like you said, that, that he was fat, and they were um, they were intimidating him. They made him, like I said, they made him feel that he, um, what you call it, should not have belonged on the team. So he ended up taking the drastic step of trying to lose weight. And you know, you know, sometimes when you know you you have this fear of being fat, you know, like the whole horrible story with, with Karen Cap Carpenter, she ended up um, getting thinner and thinner to the point where you know she it, it, he was like potentially gaunt almost. So he ended up having. And the, and the parents were really worried. The parents were, they noticed something was up, so he, he had to be hospitalized. And the parents were just becoming very, very frustrated with the school because they felt that nothing was really being done about the situation. You know, one of the uh, reasons why I, I became so passionate about raising awareness against bullying is to the person on my left, uh, Mayor Minch. Uh, Mayor has been with me for five years, and his story in Long Beach is, is so compelling. Um, it really hit home for me and made me really take such an interest in it. And so, Mayor, you heard this story about this young boy that was bullied. You went through it from second grade all the way through high school. Why don't you tell your story um, about what you had to deal with um, from second grade on uh, at Long Beach, in the Long Beach School District? Um, well, I had a lot of experience in Long Beach High School, Long Beach Elementary School from Lindell School. I uh, was in a coma at uh, eight years old for three weeks in a hospital. Um, two kids threw me a flight of stairs and were out to get me because I came from Queens to uh, a Long Island school, so it made me easy target. I didn't fit in with the Long Island kids. Um, going going from there through high school was being picked on. Was like I did wanted to commit suicide a bunch of times throughout my high school year and middle school year as well, but I went through a lot and. There were not many outsources to go through through the school systems during those time, as it would, as is, as it's shown now. As kids have an outlet, they can go to their their teacher, their dean's office, or they can go to um just their guidance counselor, someone to speak to that that is more informed nowadays compared to how it was back nine years ago. And um, the main thing is is that the school Long Beach has come a long way. They now have an anti-bullying club, but. To me, any child that is getting bullied has to tell their parents, has to tell the administration, the guidance counselors, because um, I know, Mayor, in your time, some of the most important people in your life were the special needs teachers that, were real, that really saved your life during troubled times in Long Beach. 
They did. I mean, they came. They came to my aid, which was great. Um, another thing that which helped me also was um, two people in high school. I had a guidance counselor. His name was uh, Dr. Moran. He's a school psychologist at Long Beach High. Also, and I had another person named Maria Perone. She was a teacher's aide that also helped me get through the tough times during the high school. And Mayor, you're the perfect example, which always touches my heart, is that sometimes when kids find out some information, they use it against you in such a cruel way. Um, you never had a father. Your mother is um, developmentally disabled. They used to call you Mayor the Whore, and they used to say the cruelest, meanest things. At such a young age, that had to be so hard to deal with having bullies say mean things to you almost on a daily basis. I mean, it is. I mean, even being followed home, I remember in fifth grade, some elementary schools, they, they give you know those boxes of candies to, to the kids for a dollar to sell. I remember one incident when I got off the bus. Uh, two of the bullies were on the same bus because they got out, they were on the same uh, stop as me. They took the candy, smashed it to the floor, and all the candy was spread out throughout the uh, the streets. Oh, you've come a long way since then, and um, it's one of the reasons we highlight it. And, and I think the positive thing about this story, Rocco, is yes. that um, through the video on Facebook. Right. that went viral, Yes, the family is getting so much support. So I think that's the positive aspect. And hopefully the child, more yes. importantly, can get support and, and the school can do something and that he can yes. have a normal life. I think it definitely sort of, um, it showed that people cared about this kid and it showed that you know he wasn't alone in what he was dealing with and the parents weren't alone in what they were dealing with trying to help him. And it, I think it definitely shined a brighter light on something that happens, you know, way too often in school with people getting bullied. And I think that, you know, it definitely it just it just ups the ante in terms of trying to fix situations like this and making them less prevalent in schools because yes, they still happen. And you know, it, it's just you know heartening to see that you know you know when you use social media for something like this, it, it's definitely a good thing because it definitely shows that everybody is with you and, and you're not dealing with th these kind of things by yourself. Absolutely, and um, and anyone out there, uh, if you have a child that is being bullied, uh, feel free to contact us. We want to hear your story. You can share. We're here every Sunday night at seven o'clock at Pancho's Cantina, forty-two forty-five, um, Austin Boulevard, Island Park. You can write to us at the Halftime Howie Show on Facebook, or if you need, you can hit me on my cell phone five one six four four five nine three two four. So, um, if, again, if you need to have your story uh, out there, we've, uh, we've had the uh, Long Island Community Against Bullying on our show several times. We've uh, invited the, um, the Anti-Bullying Club at uh, Long Beach on our show several times. So, again, if your story needs to be told, you always have an open uh, door here on our show to, to have your story told. And uh, we'll always try to help. Um, any child or any family that's going through a hard time with bullying. I mean, yeah, like I said, it's never too, it's never, don't be scared to ask for help. I mean, we're here for you, Howie's here for you. Even if you want to call me, I'm, I, I can be available for you guys too. My, my business phone number is 516-698-9156. Okay, I want to thank uh, Rocco, Pasifumi, and Mayor for uh, contributing in this segment, and, uh, and I promise to do a lot more uh, raising awareness, preventing bullying in the future. Thank you. And thank you, Rick.